When you've got good friends, then... Hello! Welcome to The Jeff Show. Uh, do you know what this is? Well, I'm happy to tell you what it is. It is a product review show. And do you know when we do it? Well, I'm happy to tell you. We do it every single day of the entire year. And do you know when we actually do it? We only do it on Mondays. Uh, today is Monday, October 21st, and I am here, as always, uh, not not as always, but uh, 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 going forward, it's going to be a, a consistent thing. I am here with my good friend and uh, and co-host, um, uh, Peter. Oh, it has been such a long and difficult week, and I'm so excited to tell you a little bit about this stuff. Uh, first of all, I am turning 40 this week, and that has been a very difficult thing to swallow. Uh, but the good news is, for a long time, I have felt old and weathered and like things weren't going in my direction. And this pretty much just confirms all of those things and makes the excuse more of a reality now, which is something that I think is uh, super important. So happy birthday to me, even though I don't feel particularly excited or happy about it. Um, but if you want to wish me a happy birthday, go ahead and do it in the con uh, comments below and see if you, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel. That would be the ultimate uh, birthday present. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, how is Pete back on the show after his wife, Hathan, made him quit the show? And while it is a very, very, very long story that involved multiple text messages, phone calls, emails, a couple of late night cuddle sessions, if I don't mind saying so myself, and it really, really, really did work out. Um, basically, what happened was Pete has told Hathan to just go... Um, to get out, um, and they are taking a, a trial separation. I don't know the exact words he used, but it was something to the effect of, get out of my house, I'm not interested in being married to you any longer. And that was because of what happened between me and him. Now, that apology wasn't quite good enough for me, um, so I asked him, um, what could he do for me that would make my life better? And this is the promise he made for me that will happen by October 31st. He has told me that Billie Eilish will be coming onto this show as a guest. Uh, the very famous, well-known uh, uh, teenage uh, sensation music star, Billie Eilish. And I said, well, I, that is an offer I cannot uh, turn down. I'm going to take it. And now I'm really excited because for those fans who have been with this channel since the beginning, to be able to come on this show, see that only 50 people have viewed it, and still know that they're watching Billie Eilish when another um, 300 billion people on the planet who aren't uh, subscribed to this channel will not see it um, is pretty exciting. So I'm really excited for Drake and Elder and um, Declan and Mock, uh, Bowie and, um, and, and, and Cambino and all of the gang here, uh, Adeline and, you know, all of the gang here at the uh, Jeff Show and Angry King Productions. Speaking of Angry King Productions, the production company that, that produces this show, they have come up with a new promotional video, and it was just released, and it is such a hoot, and I was so delighted to see it. And the cool thing is you can see it online, you can share it, it's now up on this channel, but I do want to make a point, and this is about America's CEOs and my problems with them. Um, as you know, I recently had a feud with Jeff Bezos, who runs Amazon, and I called him a soft bitch. And that is because, truthfully, he is one. Um, he kept us from the Amazon affiliate program for a very long time, and finally, after multiple attacks on this show, he uh, got on his knees and finally said, you know what, fine, have an Amazon affiliate account. Well, now we've moved our targets to uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg um, over at Fuss, uh, the Facebook. And the reason why I absolutely don't like this little lizard is because we put up the Angry King Promotions ad on Facebook, and it literally got zero likes and zero comments. We did this on our own Facebook page, Angry King Productions, where we have over a thousand people who like the page, and it still got zero. That is until we were forced to pay for advertising dollars. Now, as you know, I have 
absolutely no money, and even for my 40th birthday, literally nobody has given me anything, uh, except for my mom, who gave me uh, $40 in honor of my 40th birthday, and I appreciate that, and I love you very much, uh, Mommy. Uh, But I do want to say, the fact that I have to spend money uh, to get this ad going um, is, is, is a very sad thing, and I think what it says about Mark Zuckerberg is that he is a true soft who can eat my fat cock, and quite frankly, if I ever see him on the street, I'm going to slap his bitch ass face um, until he uh, gets on his knees like Bezos did. So please uh, leave a comment for Mark Zuckerberg in the in the comments below. Go find him on our Facebook channel. Let him know how you feel about that. Um, moving forward. We are going to review a product this week that I think you're going to be very excited about. We uh, had a lot of product suggestions in the comments below last week, uh, but they were all garbage, so we had to choose our own, and unfortunately, it's not going to be as good as what could have been done had you subscribed to the channel, liked uh, the videos, and actually put a comment with some sort of interesting product, not just toilet seats. Uh, because quite frankly, Drake, we don't want to review that kind of stuff. But thank you for the suggestion. It was really interesting. Uh, So today, uh, Peter, who is dressed up uh, for Halloween, because you know we love Halloween, is going to hand me, um, or not, because he never does anything, even though we went through all of this last week when we were cuddling. Uh, I have this very cool product, and these are uh, very cool... um, uh, uh, zip ties. <laughs> and zip ties are such a great product because you can do so many things with them. You can um, tie things up. You can put things together and tie them together. Uh, you can take various things and stack them and then uh, tie them together. And there's just so many things you can tie together. And these are particularly cool zip ties. And we're going to have a link uh, for the uh, Amazon uh, in our... In our um, uh, description, and you can go and buy them from our link and actually help us make a little bit of money, which would be nice of you to do, and the least you could really do considering how much we do for you. Um, so these are super cool, and the one thing I want to do is try it out. Now, I don't condone doing anything like this in real life because this is not something that um, you want to try at home, but let's say you have a friend, and that friend is sometimes hot and cold. And most of the time cold because he has a terrible, horrible gorgon of a wife who he is now separated from. And he is constantly deciding on the day, should I show up for the show? Should I not show up for the show? And now here is an awesome way to keep him around. So really, you're just going to take his hand like this and you're going to put it around a metal bar or something that would keep him from moving. And I'm going to have him hold the microphone in the other hand like this up here, Peter, and okay, so um, I bought the ones that weren't uh, long enough. Uh, for this particular activity. Uh, But perhaps we can try... No, they're just not long enough for really anything. Um, But you get the idea. They were supposed to lock him in, and then he wouldn't be able to leave, and then it would have been really cool to come in here each week, and he would have been uh, in the same situation that I'd seen before. Anyways, this was a terribly anticlimactic... uh, This was a terribly anticlimactic... Do you always have to be distracting? This was a terribly anticlimactic end to this episode, and I am very sorry uh, that we won't be back here... Uh, for a week, but I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the week off. I've got to celebrate this birthday by walking around and actually having to tell people it's my birthday because nobody ever remembers. And we will go ahead and see you next Monday. Got to be with your friends for life. Stop. I'm buying the longer ones and then you're going to see what it's like to be stuck here.